Hey everyone, Josh here with a look at another Star Wars toy. And today we're going to unbox a 3 and 3 quarter inch Black Series. This is Admiral Akbar. So let's go set this guy free. All right, everybody, here we are today with a three and three quarter inch black series. This is Admiral Akbar, and we're going to unbox this guy today, but let's quickly spin the packaging around. I want, I want to show you guys the whole thing, let you take a look at it. And so there isn't a whole lot to these, the, the packaging for these little black series. There's just really another picture on the back, and... A description of Admiral Akbar here, and I'll go ahead and read that to you guys. Admiral Akbar, a veteran commander, Akbar led the defense of his homeworld, Mon Cala, during the Clone Wars, then masterminded the rebel attack on the second Death Star at the Battle of Endor. All right, and of course, they're referring to return of the jedi there and some of that but when you hear them talk about the defense of his home world if you don't watch the animated clone clone wars tv show and i'm talking about the one that's looks more like computer animation and there was like uh, six or seven seasons um there's actually a small story arc they do on his home world and you see a younger version of admiral akbar and he as I said, it helps defend his home planet against the Separatists. So, here we go. So, let's get this guy out of here and check him out. But if, if you haven't watched that Clone Wars uh, TV shot, I would highly recommend it. It's very well done. It's Star Wars canon. And if it's something you've thought about watching, I would just say I highly recommend it. So, we have his little wand here and um be completely honest with you guys i'm not totally sure what this thing's called but i actually believe he holds it in the movie briefly and then we have whoa you gotta be careful popping these accessories out of there we have this little thing that to be completely honest with you it looks like some sort of breathing apparatus or something like that i'm not totally sure what this thing is either um, that's one of the things about these Black Series. They don't have a bunch of labeling on the packaging and like tell you what the accessories are or anything like that. So some of them you got to figure out for yourself a little bit. And they don't have the names of them or anything. But here we are. We're looking at the Akbar actual figure. And one of the things I'm really liking about it, out of all the Akbar figures I have, you see the how they did the spotting on his skin it's really dark on these the the spots and you, you can see they did it on his head as well i think it looks really good um but it's some of the darker shading i've seen on an admiral akbar on his skin tone so very interesting okay when i was looking i have the last jedi admiral akbar i recently picked up and his mouth in the it's the six inch version his mouth actually opens and closes. I was just trying to see if Admiral Akbar three and three quarter inch did that. But if you look at the eyes, are very well done. The sculpting on his face is very well done. It's very detailed. And yeah, his head's hard plastic. It's solid. I thought I felt it giving on me there a little bit. Um, so let's real quick let's run through Admiral Akbar's movements. And so looking at his head, and of course, it's probably going to be a little bit different because of the shape of his head. It's very unique. So you have an up and down. And then you should have a side to side or around around. And you can totally rotate it. But when you start the rotation, you'll see his chin is scraping up against his collar here. You're going to get a little resistance. But as you saw, if, I, if you force it a little bit, it, it will go. But... Then looking at his arms here, you should have an up and down on the shoulder and a rotation. At the elbow, we should have an up and down and a rotation. And let's see what they did with his wrists. Because his wrists are, of course, very unique. You can see how he has the very big... Arms. Okay, so they didn't do anything fancy. They just put a rotation on them. Some of the Black Series figures on the wrist articulation, you can it'll have some up and down movement as well. But you can see he just has a simple rotation. 
Um, and then I'm just, let's see here. You got some basic waist movement. It looks like you just have rotation. It's a little bit of back and forth wiggle in it, but not a whole bunch. And I'm looking at his legs here. And so even if he did have a legs that had a lot more articulation at the, right here at the hips, I can already see it's just a, a simple back and forth, like a standard three and three quarter inch figure. But because of his shirt that hangs down a little bit, and it does have some flexibility to it, but it, it does restrict his movement just a little bit. So, I mean, that's like all the further forward I can get it. And so, and there's your max backswing. So, that's that's pretty good. I'm just trying to point out to you guys, you will get a little bit of restricted movement due to his outfit. And then let's look at the knee here. We should have a back and forth movement and then a rotation as well and again at the ankle here oh okay very interesting okay and i think maybe this has something to do with the fact that his his pants are down around his shoes or maybe they just didn't want to put it on there but there's no uh ankle articulation on this guy at all and most black series figures do have that and then let's give him the quality test to me anyway and he stands beautifully without a stand very nice it's just something i appreciate in a figure if they make them so they will stand on their own so we have his little accessories and let's check out how he holds those and i'm just trying to understand what some of these things are i apologize okay so you can see he holds the little wand that he has and let's see how it does in the other hand here and actually i think looking at it this may be the hand i think it's designed to be held in because you can see he has the way they have the hand sculpted it's so the the accessory is pointed out forward and there there is and let's check out here see he's got a really good grip on it and and you can see i just want to show you guys real quick there's a slight difference in the way they sculpted his hands, this hand here has more of a grip where whatever he's holding, he can point it forward, where this one is more of a straight up and down type of grip. It's kind of hard to tell just by looking at him from the side, but when you actually get a, start trying to put accessories in the hand, you'll see it's, it's a little bit different. So see what, that's what I'm talking about, how it's just kind of like a, He's pointed it out forward, and then let's take a look at this thing. And I, again, I'll be honest with you guys, I'm not totally sure what this thing is supposed to be. Um, it's not anything I recognize from him using in the film. Um, if you guys have any idea, say something in the comments, let me know. Um, but it's just a little rectangular box with some angles cut in it. And then you have what appears to be a handle, and then also what appears to be some sort of hose for maybe sticking in your mouth, I'm guessing, I'm not totally sure. But <clears throat> just by looking, it looks like to me that it goes in his hand, maybe? And again, I wish I knew what this thing was. <laughs> um... But he's got a really good grip on it. He's not letting go. And let's see, maybe can we put it in both hands? Yes. And again, very good grip on it. Not letting go of it. And then just out of curiosity, if you look very closely, you can see his mouth is open. But it does not have working articulation where you can't open and close it. But it looks like if you wanted to... You wouldn't have any problem Oops. sticking this little hose in there. And it is going in there. You can see it goes in his mouth, but he's just, it's not staying. But anyway, it just appears to be like some sort of breathing aid or breathing apparatus maybe. But again, it's just me speculating. Okay. Let's give him his accessory back there. And there we go. 
All right, everybody, there he is from Return of the Jedi. This is your three and three quarter inch black series, Admiral Akbar. And thanks for watching, everyone. I really appreciate it. And if you're enjoying the content and you like the channel, please subscribe. And we'll talk to you guys later. Bye.